even just when everybody heard that like me and my husband had threesomes before it was yeah. like oh she's willing to do that to keep a man i'm like nah that, that you, was all me you. so even after tayana taylor agreed to open her marriage and have threesomes with iman shumpert they still broke up y'all this is clear proof that if a man doesn't want to be kept he cannot be kept like i mentioned in my previous video back in april 2023 there were already allegations that iman and tayana were living apart and apparently they were only keeping face and tayana's mom had been helping out a lot since she had become a single mother these people have apparently been separated for months now and Tayana took to Instagram and wrote a rather detailed post to provide clarity and address the rumors about their split. She actually confirmed that they had been separated for a while, and she was also quick to say that cheating did not play a part in the breakup. She wrote on Instagram, in all fairness, Iman and I are separated and have been for a while. To be 1000% clear, infidelity ain't one of the reasons for our departure. We are still the best of friends, great business partners, and are one hell of a team when it comes to co-parenting our two beautiful Beautiful children. Most importantly, we are family, and in the 10 years together, seven years married, we ain't ever played with or about that. Tayana just wanted to keep followers out of the group chat, which is the reason they have been able to successfully and peacefully separate without all of the outside noise. She said that the only reason she was even sharing that part of the chat was because the narratives were getting a little out of hand and were unfair to all parties involved. Separations are never easy, but trust, everyone is having a field day without Tayana opened her marriage and even participated in threesomes with Iman, and in the end, she still couldn't keep the man. For those who've been following, rumors about Tayana and Iman engaging in threesomes started in 2018 when Tayana released the song Three Way. She seemed to be detailing her experiences with Iman when she sang, For my baby, I do some crazy things, yeah. So whatever he want, he can get that, because two heads are better than one. Three Way, I couldn't wait to have with you. Tayana eventually confirmed that they engaged in three ways with Iman when a follower told her she had no respect for herself. And she responded by saying that just because she and Iman enjoyed having another woman from time to time in their bed didn't mean that she had no respect for herself. She also told Jadena during a Bumble conversation that she is the one who introduced the threesomes in their marriage. Even just when everybody heard that like me and my husband had threesomes before, it was yeah. like, oh, she's willing to do that to keep a man? I'm like, nah. That, that you, was all me. You. In addition, when Tayana was asked about busting down girls with Iman, she said that they do it on special days, like anniversaries and vacations. I think that's that's the mix up. You know what I'm saying? People hear it and think that it's like a thing where it's like every day we just taking down. Like that's that's not that. It just be those times where like we just like if we on vacation. Mm like an anniversary, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just. Now, why would someone have another person in their bed on days like their anniversary? And Tayana can shout to the whole universe that the marriage didn't end because of infidelity, but receipts don't lie, people. Receipts don't lie. Iman's cheating allegations actually go back to when he married Tayana. In 2016, there was a woman who claimed that she had been messing with Iman for two years, which happened to be about the same amount of time he had been with Tayana. Iman allegedly reached out to the woman on social media and planned to meet up with her in a Denver hotel. When the woman got to the room, Iman's Cleveland Cavalier teammate Kyrie Irving was supposedly there, and the woman said the men requested a threesome, which she was not interested in. Girl, homeboy must have been craving those threesomes from the very beginning. And if it really was Iman's idea all along, I'ma be honest, Tiana trying to make everyone believe that she was the one who introduced the threesomes is just embarrassing to say the least. Anyway, the woman also said Kyrie took her phone beforehand hand so she wouldn't record the incident and he allegedly threw it at her head when she left the room after refusing to hook up with both of them. And then again in 2018, Aman was caught up in another scandal when Drake was having issues with his baby mama Sophie. The rumor mill had it that Sophie was concerned because she didn't know who the baby daddy was because it could have been ASAP Rockies, James Hardens, or Iman Shumpert's. But she was apparently happy when she found out the baby was Drake's. In January 2019, there was another cheating allegation where there there were rumors that Albie Rides had slept with both Tayana and Iman and even became pregnant in the process. Notice how the threesomes just keep coming up all the time? Anyways, when there were rumors that Iman had impregnated Albie, Tayana defended Iman and wrote in response to the allegation, I've never seen slash touched that girl in my life. The situation only got a bit sus when Iman also responded to the allegation that he fathered Albie's child by writing, my legal team is about to go off at all the blogs involved in curating this fake 
news. And trust me, them blogs don't have my kind of bread. Secondly, Albie is my friend, and I'm not going to apologize for putting heart eyes under her picture. As seeing my wife go through a pregnancy and blossom in motherhood, I can't help but to admire and enjoy every part of that process through IG to any woman I scroll past in that energy. Now, Albie also said that Iman was not the father of the child, but can someone explain why Iman said that he and Albie were good friends, yet Tayana said that she had never seen Albie in her life? The math just isn't mathing for me. So there's that. And then in February 2022, there were more allegations that Iman was cheating when someone submitted a tip about an unnamed singer who had two daughters and watched her husband on Dancing with the Stars. Based on the tea spilled at the time, Tayana learned her husband cheated on her, and she was later discovered on a bathroom floor after having too much nose candy. Tayana had actually posted a photo of herself in a hospital bed, and she apologized to her fans for having to cancel a show that was scheduled for that night and explained that her body had given out due to exhaustion. Well, as per that blind item, people said that the person being talked about was Tayana, who had allegedly OD'd after Iman cheated on her. Again, just a few days before Tayana confirmed that they had separated, a woman posted a video, and it appeared as if Iman was creeping on her. She also posted a photo in what appeared to be Iman's chain, and in a different photo, the woman was lying on Iman very suggestively. However, when she was blasted on social media for parading a married man as her own, the woman responded by writing, that's my chain. I'm not wearing his chain. We are just friends. We always tag and post each other. The blogs and others wanted to make it weird for their benefit. Then when she was asked why she was leaning on Iman suggestively, she said that she was his artist and they were in the studio and she leans like that on people all the time. Now, girl, bye. We all know you are covering something up. Well, as far as the cheating allegations are concerned, Tayana herself also suggested that she knew Iman might have been cheating on her in the song Issues slash Hold On, where she sang, don't give me no reason to go through your phone. In the same song, she was also like, this is deeper than you and other women. This is daddy issues. This is years putting up with the wrong type. So she may have tried over the years to defend Iman and make it look like they had it under control. But deep down, maybe she knew Iman was never going to be faithful, even with all their arrangements. <clears throat> but in your opinion, does it look like Tayana opening the marriage only backfired in her face? Is she just trying to save face by making it look like she and Iman are still a team? I can't wait to know what you think, so drop those thoughts down below.